someone messaged about the SBA and yesterday's video. Hello Mrs. Springer, can you give me a topic for my SBA in maths? Please, and when I do get the t I think she meant topic, what's the next step? It's my first time doing a subject and I would love the help. Please, or anyone else, thanks. Well, initially I thought I would do a frequently asked question and tips video. I decided to just go with answering a question directly, so I will just do a video on picking a topic and on the introduction, which is what comes next. So this video will be on the maths SBA, the title and the introduction. So there are three papers, the CSEC maths paper. One is your multiple choice, that's 30%. Paper two is your written paper, that's 50%. That carries the most marks. This is what we focus a lot on in this channel. But paper three, that's either your SBA or your um, the written paper three. So that's 20%. So the paper three can be thought of as either this, the paper 031, this is the SBA, this is for students who are doing it in school uh, or the paper 032 um, aka the devil paper, that's what my subscribers call it so this one is for private students or research students who don't have an SBA this one is for school candidates doing it in school so you can do a school based assessment so this is the actual structure of the SBA you have a title, this is with one mark you have an introduction with four marks you have method of data collection which is with two marks you have presentation of data this is with the most marks this is the five mark part then you have analysis of data discussion of finding conclusion all of these are with two marks and in most most of the SBAs that you do you want to put in a reference and appendix but you don't get marked on this however you have two marks for overall presentation and your teacher may take out marks for overall presentation if you don't have a reference or appendix so it's kind of like you know maybe one one and also just how you how the neatness of your SBA how it's presented how you use Microsoft Word basically then so this is the structure we want to focus on title picking a title and introduction in this video one of the biggest challenges students have is coming up with a title some teachers will just give you a title to work along with or prompt you into a title but a lot of times they leave the, the coming up with the title for you or the group that you are working with yes the SBA can be done with groups or single alright let me give you some tips your title should be clear comprehensive and real it should actually be a problem that you know you can you're not making up something here don't make up something there's too much things that are real that you can actually make a project on you don't need to make up anything it doesn't make it easier by making it fictional so use a real something that's real it should be comprehensive which means you have a clear clean idea of what you want to do in the project you can get ideas from home, school, or community. These are the three things I tell students to get ideas from. In this video, I'll give you actual ideas of each of these you can use, but I'm coming to that just now. Here's an example of a title. An investigation of students' academic performance. Students' academic performance at my school in order to determine if they are affected by extracurricular activities. So, we check any students that take part in extracurricular activities and compare their grades with students who don't take part in extracurricular activities. For the title, you normally start off with an investigation or, or a study, especially if it's a statistics SBA doing. So, this is a nice, beautiful um, title. The title is normally just one sentence. Boom. You're good to go. Before we continue, please subscribe if you haven't already. We are on a mission to reach 10K subscribers before the January 4th exam. Speaking of January 4th exam, exam clock. 96 more days till exam. And be reminded that we're going live this weekend with algebra. One hour of algebra this weekend. All right, let's look at some actual ideas for your project. If you're looking at it from a home point of view, you can either do something with budget, that's consumer arithmetic, buying an item, maybe an item that requires higher purchase versus cash, look at something with that. Go through types of families and how students' attendance or performance is affected, whether it's 
single parent or extended or nuclear. Another popular option in home SBAs is something involving building like, like tiling a room or doing roofing and working out the exact amount of galvanized or tiles needed for a specific area. If we come over to school, school is the most popular. Um, you could go with attendance, punctuality, improper uniform, cafe lines, and do it the times. You could even try teacher attendance if you're feeling brave. Um, probably not. Probably not this one, unless you know your teacher, unless your math teacher has come all the time, right? Box lunch, student grades, all of these are beautiful ideas you can base off for SBAs that have been done already and you could just modify it to fit your situation or you can look at it from your community check your taxi service um, check it with time do some statistics as beyond that traffic politics voting habits in your area what party do we um, your community votes for or something like more adventurous maybe regional like CPL cricket and check out the statistics of your favorite CPL cricket team or number of carnival fets in terms of time of the year or anything with your culture would be really good to do a SB on so I hope these topics give you a good look at the ideas of your ideas which you want to get for your SB the best SBA book I found was the essential mathematics SBA handbook a guide for CSEC examination with 10 actual work SBAs and 20 scenarios and, and titles I think this is the best one you can get so if you don't want to buy it you can also check out the ebook available on this book yes the ebook is available free i saw it free i don't know how long it'll be free for so you can run along and see if you can snag that remember this book has 10 actual sbas complete and worked in it is a real valuable book i can't go through it obviously because you know it's copyrighted material and there's 20 project ideas that you can choose if you want even more project ideas with actual titles that you can start off your sba from so i think this is the best sba maths book for csec i found and you all know i buy a lot of maths books my house just full with maths books and i seen some a new maths book i buy it so um i could review maths books or maybe i should review some maths books but i recommend this one right now oh and i'm not getting paid to say this i don't know i don't know glendon still personally but um this one is a good one by so after you finish your title you go to your introduction so let's talk about the introduction which is with four marks quickly the introduction the introduction first things first should have a table of contents use the automatic table of contents in microsoft word please learn how to use microsoft word if you want to do your sba properly so your introduction should have a table of contents and your introduction really is to explain why and give a little small background and idea into your project your sba once again you can check out the book that i said and there's actual there are actual introduction examples available there at the end of your introduction you just want to say maybe in one sentence just brief at the end of your introduction the purpose of your sb the purpose of my sb is to do la 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 after you've covered why and what you give a little purpose and remember your introduction is like a paragraph remember your project should cover an actual mathematical topic popular topics the most popular one by far by far by far is statistics see statistics is like 90 percent of all the projects you get in maths then a close second is consumer arithmetic um these are the more adventurous ones functions and relations geometry and vectors and matrices topics well you could get geometry like with the tiles thing that i mentioned Vectors and matrices and functions and relations will be a little more adventurous for the average student but you can eat you can do projects on these as well so for future videos on ESP I would I would look at the other topics and and give you a little idea of what you should do for them in the meanwhile you should research these things you need to know how to use Microsoft Word and these items that I list here not being able to use them are the most common problems i encounter every time a student sends me their sb page breaks my goodness learn how to use page breaks that way you don't enter 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 press and enter to go to the next page you change something on one page and it shift down everything learn to use page breaks learn how to do proper page numbering learn how to generate the automatic table of contents learn how to use the show hide button that looks something like this 
All right, I kind of dread bad, but yeah, just look for that show hide button now to use it so you can see what's going on in the background and how to wrap text. A lot of people, when they put it in the diagrams, get problem with fitting it properly into the SP. So these are like the top problem areas that I encounter. But yeah, in general, need to have a good idea of how to use Microsoft Word to, you know, ease up the difficulty when it comes to your project, and it will help you later on. So that's it. Any questions, feel free to drop it in the comments. I will do future videos on the SB going through the rest of topics. Remember to subscribe, like, and share with your friends and your enemies.